four men who led police on a chase reaching speeds of about 150 miles per hour after a botched raid have been jailed. The gang tried to force open a cash machine outside a weight rose in Kenilworth with an angle grinder, circular saw, crowbars, and a hydraulic cutter. They sped off empty-handed, taking police from three forces on a high-speed pursuit during their getaway. The men were jailed from 3 to 12 years at Birmingham Crown Court. Sparks flew. They were detained in Mile Oak, Tamworth on September 29 after a pursuit involving officers from Warwickshire, West Midlands and Staffordshire, and a police helicopter. West Midlands police said the gang hacked at the cash machine with the equipment. Sparks flew as they used an angle grinder to slice open the machine frontage but despite concerted efforts they were unable to breach its cash defenses, a police spokesman said. Residents at homes overlooking the Bertie Road shop were woken by the noise at 3.20 BST. Police said unmarked traffic cars followed the gang on the M42 where racetrack-like speeds were reached in a stolen Audi RS7. But they were monitored by a police helicopter which directed officers to flats in Mile Oak. Pedro Taylor, 30, of No Fixed Abode, and 27-year-old Jason Hadley of Harcourt Road, Birmingham, were each sentenced to three years in prison for conspiracy to steal over the botched raid. Two of the men were also sentenced for their part in a separate plot to rob a jeweler thought to be carrying thousands of pounds of diamonds. Mark Kirk, 34, of Cadbury Drive, Castle Vale, Birmingham, was jailed for 11 years, 6 months while Dean Beach, 37, of Courtney Road, Great Bar, was jailed for 12 years. They were convicted of conspiracy to steal, conspiracy to commit robbery and aggravated vehicle taking in February. They were sentenced with Darren Bowman, 47, of Kingswood Road, Mosley, Birmingham. Bowman, accused of planning the diamond robbery, was sentenced to 6 years, 2 months.